Hello, all my servers, mates, and ladies, there. How's it going, Brad? We are also known as Jimmy J57 and GTA 5 Pit My Ride episode. Now, today I finally found myself a cockette. It took so long. I was in single player here, driving around for probably like an hour and a half while just kind of surfing on my computer. But I finally found one. It's been requested a whole bunch recently, and I finally got my hands on one and a convertible one too, which is actually pretty cool. I've never actually had one in my possession. Without the uh, roof part on there, whenever I bought one online, that kind of stuff always had the roof, so very cool. So today, as per request of many people, we're going to be pimping. And let's get started, you know? It's been a while since I pimped out this car. I think this was probably one of my earlier episodes. So let, let's go. I'm pretty sure episode 22. 22. Uh, you know, you can you can check on that, but I'm pretty sure episode 22, first GTA 5 Pimmer Ride competition. That was the last time I pimped one of these. So let's let's try it out. Max out armor, brakes, bumpers. All right, so we got the uh, custom front splitter, the painted front splitter, carbon, and extreme aero bumper. So this one, this one looks horrible. If it, if it didn't have the lights in the front, it'd be okay, but I, I find that disgusting. Um, all right, so are we going to go for a carbon look, or are we going to go for a painted look? Um, you know, for this car... This car, I think it could pull off the carbon. I don't often try to go for carbon trim stuff, but you know, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. All right, rear bumper. Um, we're gonna get, need to get the carbon rear diffuser then. Um, do we want tow hook? You know, why not? Fuck it, we'll put the tow hook on. All right, engine, we'll max out the engine. There we go. Exhaust, now we got a whole bunch of exhaust options here, so we can do oval exhaust, chrome tip, tip exhaust, big bore, or titanium. Now, on this car, I actually like these chrome tip. Chrome tip looks pretty cool, looks kind of edgy. Uh, I like that, all right. Now, fenders, we can go with the stock fender, we can go with the carbon fender, and if, you know, we're going for carbon accenting on this car, we'll go for a carbon fender. Uh, hood, now we can get the uh, the vented hood, the double vented hood, the carbon hood, the carbon vented hood, or the performance hood, which is just the carbon double vented hood. Um, you know, I'm gonna hold off on the hood just till I do the color, because I'm not sure how well that's gonna mesh with the whatever color I choose. So I'm gonna leave that one out for a little bit. Horn doesn't matter. Lights, we'll do xenon lights, and I'll throw a neon kit on there. Decide the color later, if I even want a color. Uh, plate, we'll do yellow and black, and onto respray. Now, this car is really cool because it does have primary and secondary color. So we're gonna have to do something pretty cool. Now, I did see something online recently, which I really liked. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to replicate it. I don't know exactly what color it is, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, you know, I might just, you know, make up a new color on my own here, so let's try it. Let's try out something with midnight red, or wine red, sorry, midnight purple and blue is midnight colors. Wine red, um, I'm thinking something like a bright orange on the wine red. Uh, maybe just a normal orange. Um, even Sunrise Orange, to be honest, looks really nice. I actually like the Sunrise Orange. Uh, Salmon Pink, a little weird. Hot Pink, uh, that all looks crazy. Let's see what the other colors down below. Yellow does look interesting, actually. I, I do like the yellow on it. Uh, uh, yellow looks nice. Y Race Yellow looks kind of gross. Uh, Dew Yellow even worse. Uh, all the blues. Green and... Yeah, no. With the red, no. It's not a freaking Christmas car. All these colors are kind of meh. Purple would probably be the only one that looks semi-decent still, and... Still looks kind of gross. All right, so we're going to have to decide between yellow and some of the oranges I think look the best on this. So let's see. So we got yellow here. Yellow still looks pretty orangey. Um, so that's a brighter one, or do we want it a little bit darker with the oranges? So I'm thinking just just orange looks pretty nice. All right, so that's going to be my color. Um, let me go see what the carbon hoods look like now. If I want those on my car. Um, you know... I don't know if I should just do a carbon hood or just a black paint job on that part, because the carbon hood does actually look pretty nice. It does. Um, all right, we'll we'll try the we'll try the hood. Uh, secondary color, I'm gonna make that a matte black just for the back of the car there on the roof. And all right, so I think that's good for now. Roll cage, we'll definitely put the roll cage in there. It looks awesome in black, and it's pretty cool with the actually the convertible. You actually get to see the top of the roll cage there. Uh, oh, okay, so you can actually choose the roof now. Really, I remember. Interesting. I don't remember this before pimping it out. Maybe add it in. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. I'm just whatever. Uh, we'll do a carbon skirt on the side as we are going for that very carbon look. Now for the spoiler. Lots of spoiler options. We have the high level spoiler and the mid level spoiler. Tuner wing, drift wing, and the GT wing. Now, GT wing on this car is way too big. Way too big. Um, the drift wing is alright. But I think for this car, this is probably one of the only cars with the tuner wing spoiler that looks like this. I believe the Karuma also has one similar to this. 
I really like it. it. It actually looks really nice. I do like the uh, the parts on the side that connect to the car. It looks awesome. So I'm going to put that on. We're going to drop the suspension, uh, transmission, of course, turbo tuning, and onto wheels. Now, this is a sports car, so we're going to take a look at sports wheels first. Um, oh, man. Inferno might already got me. I, I do like Inferno wheels. I do, especially on this car. Um, let's see what we got. Um hard to choose wheels you know like there's so many that do look decent but there's always one that stands out more rough weld rough weld would do good on this car um though these are the ones these uh super five are the one i had on my cockpit for the longest time now i looking at them i just don't like them at all we're gonna go for inferno wheels uh wheel color i'm just gonna do black tires um custom tires yeah i like custom tires on there we're gonna go t uh bulletproof tires now into tire smoke I think for this car, I'm going to do black tire smoke, and then I'm going to go back up to neon. Uh, where's my lights? Up top. There we go. Lights, and we're going to make the neon color like a red. Um, red or orange? Actually, no, I like the orange better than the red, I think. Yeah, red's a little too dark for the car. We're going to do orange, neon, and then finally, I believe we just have the windows to do, and we'll do limo tint on those, even though there's no windows on the side, and we're done our pimped out inverto cock yet i think it looks really nice it's a very uh very different color i don't i don't think i've ever used this color before and i just saw something similar to it the other day i don't think this was exactly it but it's actually looking really awesome i do like that a lot so very cool very cool car um cock i'm so glad i found one i haven't found one of these in a long time and it's, it's actually pretty cool to be able to pimp it out again it's it's been a while since i've ever uh owned a cock online and definitely don't have enough money right now to on one of those but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of gt5 pimp my ride if you did remember to leave a like comment and subscribe down below and uh, tell me any cars that you want me to pimp in the future of course i do listen to requests this one was a request itself it just took a while before i did it because it is very hard to find these they don't often come into spawn uh offline and online i'm trying to save my money for uh, bigger and better cars like the new ones that come out especially the ones that are exclusive to online you can't get in single player anymore like the uh the low riders and stuff those are crazy expensive i'm i'm still trying to save up to do another one but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this episode like i said remember leave a like comment and subscribe down below if you did enjoy it and as always sirs have a good day